Hey guys, this is Ace Pro here, uh, with a little bit of a review, non-script version for uh, Burn the Witch. Uh, this is pretty much going to be straightforward, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, but I, yeah, I did watch Burn the Witch, uh, all three episodes. Um, it started off pretty slow, I'm not going to lie. It could have been worse. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about in regards to Burn the Witch. Uh, pretty much the pros and cons of it. Uh, nothing too, uh, too harsh, but... Uh, it does seem like it's uh, living up to the hype. I have. I just wanted to do a quick review on all three episodes, um, as Platinum Equinox had told me. Uh, it was supposed to be a movie at first, which I completely didn't know. I thought it was just going to be a straight anime series, uh, in regards to um, a lot of the stuff that we were talking about. Um, now, uh, along with the Bleach anime being officially back in development. And a lot of the other stuff that is currently back in development. Uh, and like there's a Yu Yu Hakusho remake on the horizons. There's an Inuyasha sequel. Um, I watched the Inu Inuyasha uh, sequel. Like the ones with the kids. Uh, it starts off pretty well, pretty slow. Nothing too crazy there too. Now, I watched Jujutsu Kaisen. I watched um, the other anime Platinum Equinox had told me about. I forgot what it was called. Uh, but... The, the two main ones that I was excited for were Jujutsu Kaisen and, and Burn the Witch. Um, the reason why I was excited for Jujutsu Kaisen is that I read a little bit about it and the concept was pretty uh, fabulous. <laughs> Just say, uh, upon watching that, it was uh, pretty good. So I'll start another video on that um, another time. Uh, so back to Burn the Witch. So this anime has lived up to my expectations. I don't know if it lived up to everybody else's expectations. Uh, but upon seeing a lot of the content that it was showing in regards to, I don't want to spoil a whole lot, but you can say there's uh, some kind of uh, Shikigami stuff going on. It was, it was pretty interesting. It was like I, I'm using Shikigami as a term lightly because they're not really called Shikigami. It's just, just it's called something else. Um, please don't like spoil a lot of the anime in the chat uh, down below in the comment section. Uh, but, uh, you know, the powers seem pretty legit. It seems to be a, I wouldn't say like a ripoff, but more of like a continuation for like a West Branch of the Soul Society. Um, the powers are very interesting. Like, it, they don't use like Hado, like key and like spiritual powers and stuff like that. They use something called magic, obviously, right? And this magic power is pretty straightforward. It's mana. Uh, they use it to um, defeat their enemies, uh, but it does seem like it is coming up crazy, like with the first episode, uh, and then the second episode, and then the third episode was coming out. Uh, it wasn't coming out, sorry. It was pretty straightforward, like it was getting action-packed by the end. Um, uh, again, not spoiling a whole lot, but uh, one of the craziest things I saw uh, in this, in the last part, like the third episode was pretty much a, um, it, it, it's going to start up an anime series. It's going to start a series in general because the way they set it up was that there's going to be other enemies and not just, again, I'm going to use bleach terms, not just the, the court guard squads, right? Uh, again, not spoiling anything. Uh, but if you tend to want to have a bleach anime or something similar to bleach this is as close as you're gonna get with the concept itself um like the characters are are pretty you know crazy like when you watch it once you don't really remember the names of these characters but if you watch it like a couple more times you'll get like okay yeah this is the name of the characters like i personally don't remember the names themselves uh but on top of that the characters are pretty straightforward too. Like, um, you got your uh, main character that's a little bit quiet, or a little bit like a little bit like self-centered. Then you got the crazy one that's like, "Yo, let's let's go do this." And then you got the other characters. Um, you have your Udahara type character. Like, and then you have your Grimjow type character. Like these these are the characters that define anime series as a whole. And I just want to let you know that. If you're going into it expecting like the sea soul reapers and stuff you're not really gonna see that here you're gonna see what was based on the title witches the thing is is that with the witches they 
it does seem like they have like a type of soul society council going on but it, it's not to the point where it's like full-blown where they're they're fighting an Aizen type character or anything like that um, they're actually fighting something a lot bigger than the characters themselves and if you do watch it you'll be pretty excited on what you're gonna see by the end um, because again it was supposed to be a movie as Platt said and I'm just excited for the movie itself like if they make us like a sequel like to this they, they pretty much set it up by the end to start off with a new sequel right and there's a lot to go off of like why the hell would you start off a a, a sequel uh like you, you you cliffhangered it pretty much which is not bad but you don't cliffhanger something not to create a sequel that's that's all i'm gonna say and it's like the bleach you know on uh, on the last episode of bleach there they cliffhangered it and you waited for all the episodes to come into place but instead of all the episodes coming into place it got cancelled and everything i do not want burn the witch to be cancelled i do not i do not want this to be cancelled i don't want this just to be a, some kind of teaser because i wanted to continue on for at least another maybe couple seasons or a full-blown anime uh, or a full-blown anime movie. There's no doubt about it. I want it to succeed So the 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 main pros here is that the the characters are pretty interesting uh, The villains are pretty interesting if you want to call them villains um, They're more like anti-hero in a sense. They are trying to protect the world But they're doing it in means that don't seem uh, Realistic to the other characters. So there's like there's characters that are, are f like going against each other, but at the same time, they they don't hate each other. They're just following the rules, right? It's not like if the cap court, you know, the, the captains are going up against um, Ichigo and them because they're preventing uh, these characters from entering the Soul Society and all these things in the beginning of Bleach. No, this is, this is like the witches working alongside these councils but there's certain rules in place to keep the, the story going, right? Like, they're not fighting each other, as I said before. They're just uh, anti-heroes, in a sense, to each other. So, like, uh, like it starts off, like, cra crazy, right? Like, you, they're, they're fighting this one enemy. Like, you, this character, not even, I wouldn't say character. This monster looks kind of like, you know, his face is kind of messed up, right? And then you think, oh yeah, this 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 is, this enemy is a little bit dumb, right? And then next thing you know, something happens, and then the story continues, and you're like, what the what did I just see? What did I just see? Right? And then next thing you know, it goes into a full blown fight. I wouldn't say a fight, but like it goes into like a this this fight in the beginning, where you're getting like hype. You're like, oh damn, this is more than what what I'm seeing. This is more than what I'm seeing. So, the number one thing is is that keep in mind it's not going to be exactly like Bleach, uh, but it is it is it has been confirmed it's part of the Soul Society West Branch, right? Um, the one thing I do want to see with with that concept of the, of the West Branch is that I want to see Soul Reapers and all the characters from Bleach, um, you know, from Japan and stuff like that to you know meet kind of meet up in between. Uh, with uh, the witches and stuff like that because it does seem like they are working together in some way or another It's just that their powers and their things that they protect are a little bit different um, So if you read the manga for bleach uh, There's like a bunch of stuff that goes on closer to the end now you know if you do want to think of it as Like the West Branch as being something created on the side you know like just just because you know uh, the the creator Mr. Kubo over here wants to you know create another series. No, I don't think he's really doing that. I think he's trying to branch out the Bleach uh, category a little bit so that he can bring some of these characters from Bleach over, not just like as a crossover, but more of the characters working together. So if the characters work together, that's fine with me. Like if if Ichigo meets the main characters from Burn the Witch. That'd be crazy, you know, Ichigo and Rukia meeting these characters. Like, like the main characters of Burn the Witch are pretty much, uh, the uh, I wouldn't say opposites, but mirroring images of Rukia and Ichigo, in a sense, right? They're like the, pretty much the same characters. It's just that 
you know, the, the comparisons are a little bit slightly different. But if you look at the color palettes of, you know, their hair, uh, personalities, that's all pros, right? Because that's something you're kind of used to. The, now, if you look at the designs, designs are for surely there. Uh, there's nothing, you know, off about it. It's just that when you watch it for the first time, the animation is pretty strong. You look at it as if, like, if you didn't know it was a movie at first, you look at it and be like, yo, they put a lot of money in this. They put a lot of money in this. They put really good animators in this. They did the job right. But then when I found out it was an anime, uh, anime movie, I just decided, okay, it's an anime movie. Might as well just take it in that direction. And uh, if you're going to continue to make these movies, make it a sequel of movies uh, with, with potential uh, crossover with Bleach. Now, the one thing I do want to mention, um, I pretty much put the, the pros in a, in a cup here. Uh, so I'm going to have an empty cup on the other side and just say the cons are very few on my side. So I'm not going to vouch for anybody else's opinion here. Uh, but the cons are character development is not really there. It's I know it was supposed to be a movie. Um, if you did read the manga for Burn the Witch, like the, you can say the pilot, uh, it was, you get some of the information there, but at, on this, at the same time, the movie itself doesn't give you that much to go off of also, like, you get some information, but it, it does continue some information from the manga, but it's really not there in the movie, right? It just goes off what it's already established, and it feels like... I wouldn't say rush because again it's only one two three episodes but they could have done more with the characters they could have done more um manga wise so if they didn't have a lot of content i'm not saying kubo should rush the series to the point where you know everybody's excited for it and then the quality's down right nobody really wants that people do want character development people want to see the characters uh grow with like better powers and such uh but again i didn't really want to spoil much but let's just say like the the stuff that they do um is is pretty lame like the powers like if you if you look at stuff like the hotto from bleach like hotto 23 and stuff like that it's it's they do the same thing it it's nothing very innovating um it's like they they use weird weapons uh of course something you would say see from like harry potter or something like that but the main issue i have is there's not really much development there you don't even know what these weapons are you don't even know what these enemies are 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 right like you don't even know what they're they're doing why are they doing there if you look at bleach you know what they're. You know why these soul reapers are there. You know why these uh, these hollows are there. You know why they're getting these powers. You know why Ichigo gets his powers. But in Burn the Witch, you don't know how anything is really there. It just starts you off as you you should know what's going on when really nobody knows what's going on. It's more of they're just telling you that this is how the story is going to be, and there's nothing really but the build off. Right, other than the cliffhanger at the end of the whole thing. That's what they're really building off. And everyone's building off the hype of this show. Not a bad thing. But it's a con because there's nothing to go off of. I keep saying that. So if I was going to have a middle ground, I would say animation is spectacular. Um, characters are spectacular in a way. Even if they don't have development, uh, you can say it's very consistent with Bleach storylines. All the arcs in Bleach, um, if you're very used to the very like shonen type of thing, go for it. Watch Burn the Witch, you'll enjoy it. If you're a huge fan of Bleach, um, it's way different. I wouldn't say way different, but it's about 80% different from Bleach. So don't go in thinking there's going to be soul reapers. Don't go in thinking there's going to be captains and court guard squads and, you know, the soul societies and stuff like that. No, don't go in going like don't go in thinking that way. Go in thinking that it's a brand new anime that's pretty much a sequel on the west side of the world.
pretty much yeah the west side of the world so my middle ground here now is that just just keep it chill um go in with an open mind don't say that you don't like it because it's a little bit different it is a little bit different uh just watch till the end you're 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 gonna want to know what the hell's going on for sure so with that in mind um this is my opinion these are my pros and cons um i might have a little bit of inconsistencies because i have no script but keep in mind burn the witch is fairly good uh i would say it's pretty much an 8.5 out of 10 in my book and if you do like it you know just keep an eye on it update us I know Platt's always updated on the new episodes and everything. So just keep in mind, that's that's all I'm asking. <laughs> uh, it's just update me uh, through the community tab, update Platt through the community tab, and we'll pretty much go off of that. So with that in mind, uh, keep it frosty, guys. I know the pandemic is not going as planned. It continues to grow, and a lot of people want to go out a little you know do things and hang out with their friends and family and enjoy their hobbies bro you know i just want people to know that life is kind of hard right now life is very uh, hard so just enjoy the new animes that have came out in the last week or so and uh with that in mind i keep saying with that in mind stay frosty guys i hope you guys have a great day bye